A very good morning, students. Uh, let's continue our chapter legislature. In our last class, we have discussed about uh, Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, right? The upper house and the lower house. How the houses are divided, lower house or the Lok Sabha has been divided according to the constituencies. In our India, altogether we have 543 constituencies. So, in Parliament, in Lok Sabha, there are 543 MPs, Member of Parliament. Okay, and these Member of Parliaments uh, are elected directly by the common people. Whereas in uh, Rajya Sabha, the uh, constituencies or the seats of the Rajya Sabha has been divided according to the size of the state. Okay. Uh, we have uh, in few states uh, whose population is very high, they are bicameral legislature and the state where the population is low, they are called unicameral legislature. Till now, uh, we have only seven states where we will find bicameral legislature because the size of the state and the population is very high. And the member of the Rajya Sabha are not elected directly by the common people. The um, and the election is indirect and uh, another thing uh, in Rajya Sabha there are 12 nominated members and the president nominates all those members and these members uh, whom to whom president is nominating these members uh, should have made their name in the field of literature or science or arts or social service okay so this is all about <coughs> Lok Sabha and uh, Rajya Sabha now we'll discuss about the function of parliament what are the functions of the parliament how the parliament works okay so uh, the first function is that legislative function legislative function means to make laws or enacts legislation legislation means law okay so in that uh, legislative function, the uh, the parliament makes the law with the help of all the other ministers, the cabinet ministers and the head of the parliament is prime minister. Okay, under prime minister, there are cabinet minister whom uh, uh, prime minister uh, take advice from and whatever decision they take, they have to inform to the president as well. So these are the most important members of the parliament and they are responsible for the legislation, for the making or the enacting of the legislation. So the, <clears throat> the parliament control of executive and ensuring its accountability. The executive does not overstep its authority and remains responsible to the people. So the parliament, uh, another function is that parliament has to control the executive. Executive means all the ministers. Executive means there are private ministers and there are government ministers. Right. Even uh, the heads, even, even the um, government employees like uh, IPS, IAS or SS, uh, socials, uh, whatever is there. You know what the competitive examinations name, right? So all those who um, are the government employee, they are also the executives. And even they should be controlled <coughs> by the parliament or the by the legislator. Okay. And these executive has to be accountable. They, they have to be answerable. And um, the, um, the executive should be responsible to the people, right? Because the government in India, we have a democratic government. Democracy means the government of people. So naturally, uh, the executives should be accountable to the people or should be um, responsible to the people. <coughs> Next is a financial function. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well. Financial function. Uh, financial function. Control taxes and the way in which money is used by the government. Grant of resources to the government to implement its program. The parliament also has another uh, function that is financial function. Okay. 
so the government uh, the parliament controlled the taxes whichever uh, we used to pay the common people used to pay the taxes and that taxes will be again used in some development work right in uh, the country itself and and the grant of resources to the government to implement its program so if uh, some if government is planning to do some governmental work uh, some developmental work that time they need resources they need um, capital or the money so whose money will go over there obviously ours the common people's because we used to pay the taxes and those taxes are used in development work and this is the duty of the uh, legislator okay next representation represent the divergent views of members from different social economic religious group we have representatives mps and mls all of them are representatives right and they are from different category and the government has to listen to all this uh, representatives because they are our representatives if we are facing any problem we'll tell our mps then they will inform this all this thing in the parliament then debating function to analyze any or every issue the fa that faces the nation so uh, like i have already told you rajya sabha lok sabha right you must have seen uh, by by any chance you must have flick your uh, tv remote at that time lok sabha you must have seen uh, or not the, if not then please have a look once okay the lok sabha tv you will find what is debate over there so discussions will be issues will be solved in that debate only then the constituent function the power of discussing and electing changes to the constitution if something has to be changed in the constitution or everything will be discussed over there electoral function elects the president and the vice president of india then judicial function considering the proposal for removal of president vice president and judges of high court and supreme court so these are the judicial function if the if the judges of the high court or uh, supreme court or the president or the vice president is by any chance removed okay then at that time everything will be discussed in the parliament itself special power of the rajya sabha if the union parliament wishes to remove a matter from the state list over which only the state legislature can make laws to either to the union list or concurrent list in the interest of the nation the approval of the rajya sabha is necessary so there are two lists right one is union list and uh, there are actually three list union list state list and the concurrent list okay so the union list means whatever list whatever programs comes under the center as a center and the state list whatever program comes under the state government so if the uh, parliament is deciding to change uh, the programs which comes under state government to the union government at that time it will be discussed in the parliament and one of the most important thing is that rajya sabha needs to give its approval without rajya sabha's approval the government cannot take uh, state list a uh, point of state list in the union list rajya sabha's approval is very very necessary next exclusive power of the uh, lok sabha what is the exclusive power of lok sabha the rajya sabha cannot initiate reject or amend money bill rajya sabha can criticize the government but cannot remove it so the money bill will only be discussed in the uh, lok sabha not in rajya sabha okay and the rajya sabha can criticize the government but cannot remove it rajya sabha can only discuss the matter but they do not have the power to take the decision so this is all about parliament what is parliament rajya sabha lok sabha whatever discussions are going on there whatever government we have that is called parliament okay so this is how uh, the functions of the parliament has been distributed or uh, differentiated okay in our next class we'll uh, discuss about the bill how a bill becomes a law we'll discuss that in our next class thank you